Super 32 champ, Bo Bassett. Bo, you just wrestled what's already being talked about on Twitter as possibly the best high school match of all time. Talk a little bit about that experience. Uh, that was an unbelievable experience. The crowd brought it, uh, the coaches brought it, and we brought it as the athletes. And uh, nothing but respect for my opponent. That was fun, a lot of points were on the board. Um, I think ultimately it came down to just digging deep at the end there and, and finding a score, and uh, I dug really deep. Talk a little bit about your, your strategy going into the match. You know, you guys just wrestled a couple weeks ago at who's number yeah. one, and uh, you know, you had a pretty big win there. Uh, did you make any adjustments or was anything different going into this time? Um, I think both sides have incredible staffs. Um, he has an unbelievable coaching staff and I do as well. And there's adjustments on both sides. Um, ultimately, I think I just wanted to score more. Uh, and ultimately, we both scored more. So it was a pretty fun um, experience. And I think that Daniel was, was definitely made some good adjustments. Um, and it created a great environment, created uh, match three. And people really brought the intensity, which is great for wrestling. Talk a little bit about the the scrambles you guys were in. So that's a you know you're you're used to getting in matches where you're kind of piecing people apart and they're not really you know giving you that kind of a feel. But you guys were rolling all over the place today. Talk a little bit about that feel. Yeah, I think that got to spotlight a little bit of how good I am at scrambling because I feel like that's one of my best things. But sometimes I don't really get to that position that much, you know. And against a guy like that, I mean, we scrambled basically the whole match, right, from the start when they waved the takedown off to the to the final takedown. So. Giving up your legs in overtime is not ideal, but being able to score is, I think, X factor, and that's things that you really got to develop. And so I was able to develop that with the amazing partners, and amazing staff that I have back home, um, and none of it's possible without my faith. Talk a little bit about what it feels like to have that third Super 32 bell. Is that right? Yeah, third one. No one's ever done four in high school, uh, so that's my goal: be the first ever um, and go down. Maybe as the only one ever. I don't. I don't know. I think there's some young guys maybe that have a chance to do it. But I'm telling you right now, it's one of the hardest things to do in wrestling. No one's ever done it, and that speaks for itself. People have been world champions. They've been, uh, you know, four-time state champions or four-time Ironman, but they've never done four-time two for 32. So uh, that's a big goal of mine, and it'll be on my mind for the next 365 days. Talk a little bit about your composure in that match. I mean, like you, like we talked about earlier. Not a whole lot of matches where you're you're pushed to a seven seven and then going into overtime. Talk a little bit about how you know you're you're looking calm as can be out there. I see see you smiling over at your family a little bit. Like yeah. talk a little bit about that. Um, if you're not smiling, you're not having fun. I always remind myself that I do this for fun, right? This wrestling is fun. It's uh, not supposed to be real stressful or put a bunch of pressure on yourselves. And a lot of people ask me how I deal with it, but to be honest with you, I find a lot of freedom in my faith. Um, I don't feel too much pressure. I feel like if I pray, I'm good to go. Uh, ultimately, if I win, that's great. And if I lose, it's also part of God's plan. So for me, I'm just going to keep rowing the boat, smiling when I need to, and uh, scoring points. That's, it's, just, it's so fun. That was probably the most fun match I've ever had in my life. Um, and I remember to smile. So that's exciting. Yeah, the gym, I mean, not to say that the, the fans didn't watch the rest of the matches, but the gym kind of cleared out after that's that. That's the one. There was uh, standing room only, as they say. Yeah, that's uh, what I heard. I heard it cleared out, but I tell you what, it was jam-packed when we were in there, and it was loud. And they were not just cheering one way. They were cheering both ways, and I think they were just cheering for wrestling, which is, uh, that's what you need in a sport like this. We're trying to grow it, and I think me and Daniel are doing a good job. I 100% agree. Yeah. What's next for you? What's uh? Uh, True Power coming up next week. I don't yeah. think you're wrestling in that. No. What do you got next? No. Um, I have a couple exciting weekends planned, a couple visits, a couple things like that. Um, next couple of weeks in November. I'm uh, going to be training my butt off. I'll be back in the room tomorrow. Um, like I was telling someone earlier, you know, if I win today, um, I'll be back in the room. And if I lose, I'll be back in the room. So not too much changes as far as that goes. I'll be working my tail off. Um, I'm thinking a lot about the world championships. That one still burns a lot. So I'm excited to get back there next year. I know it's a little bit away, but it's, uh, it's still on my mind. And I think next for me is probably Ironman, college opener too. We'll see what happens. But I love wrestling. I'm getting peed as much as I can. Congratulations, Bo Bassett, Thank Super you. 32 champ, three-timer. Yes, sir. Thank All you. Right.